Hi, this is John from PSD Dude, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to use our Quilling Paper Art Photoshop Creator that we have posted on Graphic River. In order to use our action, you need to first uh, download uh, the zip file that you can find on Graphic River, and then you have to extract the files from that archive. In the archive, there are several files. Uh, amongst which you can find a help file, uh, a PSD file, a Photoshop action file, a Photoshop pattern file, and a Photoshop brushes file. First of all, you'll need to load into your Photoshop installation the brushes file and the patterns file. To do this, you have to go to Edit, Preset Manager choose brushes then load and go to the location where you extracted the files from the archive and choose the quilling brushes file uh, I already have the brushes file and the patterns uh, loaded in uh, my Photoshop so I'm not going to click load here but you have to click load to put these files in your installation the same for the patterns so you select patterns load, go to the location and load the quilling patterns file in preparation to use this quilling effect you'll also have to load the main action file that comes with this package to do this you have to open the actions panel and as you can see I already have uh, the action loaded uh, for my installation but you'll have to load it in your own installation so you will choose load actions choose quilling by psd.atn file and then load now that you have everything installed for this effect what we need to do next is to open up the psd file that comes with this package quilling by psd.psd I'll double click on it and uh, it will open up the file as you can see this file has several layers the first layer is a smart object don't worry if you're not familiar with smart objects they are very easy to use as you can see the title for this layer is add your text or shape inside and that's exactly what we'll do for creating the quilling effect so if I double click on this and click OK Photoshop will open the smart object as a new document. Inside the smart object we will add a text or a shape that will be converted to the quilling effect by the action. So let's say that I will add some text. Let's say we add the, the letter Q for quilling. Let me center it. There we go. And then what I have to do is I have to choose one of the actions that comes with this package. You can choose any of the actions, but for uh, this example I will choose Quilling with Border Unicolor. I have to click on it and then click Play. Done. So this is the result of the action. That's all we have to do the action applied the quilling effect to the letter that we put into this smart object so now we will close the smart object Photoshop will ask me whether I want to save the changes that we've made to the smart object so I will click yes and now we will see the end result in the main file this is it let's make this a bit larger so that we can see the, the end result a bit better As you can see, the letter that was transformed initially in the smart object to contain uh, the quilling patterns has been transformed now to a 3D quilling effect. The end result already looks good. 
but of course you might want to customize this in order to do that you have to go into the smart object by double clicking on it and you will see that the smart object has a group of layers that you can change to fit your needs so you have a color overlay for the filling of the effect this is something that you can change so let's choose a different color Okay. and now if you save this smart object you will see that the color also changes in the end result going back to the smart object again there are even more uh, customization options for example you can change the border there are several borders added to the object so you can play around with this however you want for example if you want to change the thickness of the quilling paper you double click on stroke and choose a different size for the stroke I will exaggerate the size now to see the end result. Close. Yes. And here it is. You can see the thickness of the quilling paper has increased. This concludes our tutorial. I hope you found it useful. As always, if you have any questions, you can send me a message via Graphic River and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. For other interesting tutorials and uh, resources for Photoshop, don't forget to visit uh, psdtude.com.